Thank you, Mr. President. We now know how the EU27 leaders plan to negotiate with Brexit. On first glance, it appears reasonable. But like everything the EU says, on closer inspection, you can see the malevolent intent of an EU that tempers no opposition to its control. Like a playground bully, it says no member state can talk to the UK separately. Like an emperor, it grants Spain a veto over Gibraltar. And like a jilted spouse, it says the UK cannot go out and get a new trade partner until the divorce is finalised or else. But for those of us in this chamber who want to bully us, threaten us, or demean us, may I remind you of the English poem by Rudyard Kipling about a Norman king warning his son about taking advantage of the English. The Saxon is not like us Normans. His manners are not so polite. But he never means anything serious till he talks about justice and right. When he stands like an ox in the furrow with his sullen eyes set on your own and says, this ain't fair dealing, my son, leave the Saxon alone. So when a French president says Brexit is a crime, we will say, we will not be imprisoned by your rudeness. When a Maltese president says the UK deal must be an inferior deal, we will say no deal is better than a bad deal. And when a German president says that without the EU, Britain cannot have its voice heard in the world, we will say, listen to the sounds of a free Britain, an independent Britain, an outwardly looking Britain, trading, growing and expanding in the world, looking forward and not backwards. Thank you.